atomic number, atomic mass and mass number. All that we can see and feel is composed of matter. Matter is all around us and it is made up from a very fundamental unit, the atom. Just as we have a name, door and street number on an address representing the precise location of a family, we have similar numbers called atomic number, atomic mass and mass number to give us the exact description of the atom of a particular element. How does one differentiate between such a variety of atoms? Let us now learn more about the features that define the individuality of atoms. We know that a single atom consists of a nucleus made from protons and neutrons and an electron cloud that orbits around the nucleus. In the atoms of different elements, the combinations of these three fundamental particles vary. Within any atom of a particular element, the number of protons is always fixed. The number of protons is responsible for determining the type of element the atom is. With this background, we can define the atomic number as the number of protons that is located in the nucleus of a given atom. Since an atom is neutral as a whole, the positively charged protons are usually equal in number to the negatively charged electrons. The atomic number is the most important factor that determines what an element is and how it will behave, that is, its properties. The mass number is the concentrated mass of an atom located within the nucleus. Mass number is the sum of the protons and neutrons within the nucleus of an atom, that is, the sum total of all the nucleons in the nucleus of an atom. All matter has some amount of mass, even if it is very small. The mass of an atom is insignificantly small. How does one measure such minuscule mass, which is very much less than even one milligram? Special units are used for measuring such minuscule masses, which are very much less than even one milligram. By definition, atomic mass of an element is the relative mass of its atom as compared with the mass of the carbon atom. The mass of a carbon atom is taken as 12. One atom of carbon-12 has a mass of 12 amu. In more traditional measurements, the mass of one carbon-12 atom would be 1.9927 into 10 to the power minus 23 grams. Can you imagine how small this number is to express in grams? 10 to the power minus 6 is already a millionth of 1.9927 grams, meaning that 10 to the power minus 23 is a millionth times, a millionth times, and a millionth times 1 lakh of 1.9927 grams. Almost inconceivably small. To simplify all this, AMU is used as a convenient unit. In the periodic table, the precise address of the atoms of all the elements known to man is given. The atomic number is the whole number that is associated with the symbol of each element. Atomic number is written as a subscript to the left of the symbol of the element. The uppercase letter Z is universally used to represent the atomic numbers of all the elements. Key in the Z value of the elements listed here by referring to the periodic table. If the atomic number or the number of protons changes, then the element itself will change. 
If the number of protons in an atom is changed from 26 to 25, then what is the symbol of the new atom? Now let's move on to the mass number. By universal agreement, the symbol for the mass number is the uppercase letter A. It is written as a superscript to the left of an element symbol. If an atom contains 5 protons and 6 neutrons, then what is its mass number? Let's quickly recall the meaning of atomic mass unit or mass of an atom. If the atomic mass of aluminium is 27, what does it actually mean?